I don't even know how I'd be right, Pride and Prejudice. I am a mouse. I'm burning something that I love for myself to piss off all of you other guys. It's time for chaos, guys. <laughs> this is bound to be um, fun and hurtful and potentially not a good time, but simultaneously a good time. I don't know how to describe it. Basically, I have this idea. I saw from Murphy Napier, she had this video where it was basically reread, rewrite, burn. So it was basically a game. So I was like, oh, this could be kind of fun and I want to make it hard on myself and also potentially painful for you and myself. I don't know. I, ha I have a weird idea of what's fun. You know? But basically, I have this wheel over here that has a bunch of different books. I think I have 16 here, and there's a lot of my favorites on here. There's very light sprinkling of ones that I don't like, that I definitely want to burn. And then there's also some classics, like Lord of the Rings, Pride and Prejudice, Harry Potter, things like that. Things that people will be very upset if I have to rewrite or burn them for all existence so nobody can actually enjoy them. So, let's have some fun. You know, I figured we'll spin, we get three, and then I have to figure out what I'm gonna do. Am I gonna reread, am I gonna rewrite, or am I gonna burn it? Especially if I get like all three of like ones I absolutely love, or if I have those classics on there. Like, I don't know, what am I gonna do when it comes up to like Pride and Prejudice and Butcher and Blackbird? Do I choose all of humanity or do I be selfish? You know, I don't know, we'll see, anyways. <laughs> into it. I felt like having fun today and to choose violence. So round one. Wow. Speaking into existence, man. Okay. First one. Pride and prejudice. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're going with the peas. Okay, if I get pestilence on the next one, I'm gonna laugh because it's the three peas. But I got pounded by Pluto. Which I don't know, guys. That one was that one was great. As far as as I can't talk. As far as weird ass stuff, pounded by Pluto was fantastic. You might not consider it literature, but I do. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, it really is the three peas, man. I'm speaking things into existence. Pen pal. Oh, wait, crap. Okay, okay. Pride and Prejudice, Pen Pal, Pounded by Pluto. All of these are fantastic reads, okay? All of these are amazing. I have to reread, rewrite, and, and burn one. Burning or rewriting Pride and Prejudice is blasphemous. I recognize that and I'm saying it out loud. But pen pal and pounded by Pluto, you guys. Um, oh my God. I know a lot of you are just like, Maggie, burn pounded by Pluto. That hurts, okay? It is a good time. It will make you laugh. It will make you chuckle. If you are depressed, it will bring you out of it, okay? It's that powerful. So will Pride and Prejudice though. So, <laughs> but pen pal also was like such an experience to read. Like I... I made Dave have to read it because I enjoyed it so much and I just needed to talk about it with someone with the thing that happens. Mm, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, okay. So, re, read. Um, I would pick Pen Pal over Pounded by Pluto to reread. <laughs> Because <laughs> I feel guilty. I don't even know how I'd rewrite Pride and Prejudice. I've come to a decision. I'm going to reread Pen Pal. I'm going to rewrite uh, Pride and Prejudice. And then I'm, I'm going to burn Pounded by Pluto. Deal with it. You can be mad at me. I don't care. Say, say what you want. I'm sticking by it. Pen Pal was so good. It was so good. I'm sorry. I'm choosing myself over everybody else. <laughs> Anyways, round two. <clears throat> oh my God, we're going with the weird ass today. Mating with the mantis. 
which you guys know is like top-notch Shakespearean to me in April. So, mating with the mantis. <laughs> <laughs> the universe really wants YouTube to hate me. Lord of the Rings. I have to choose between Lord of the Rings and Mating with the Mantis. That's easy. Ballad of Nightmares. <laughs> Burning that one. Okay, we don't even need to discuss. But now, we need to choose if I'm going to rewrite Lord of the Rings reread technically I've never read Lord of the Rings I've just I've just watched it but I also know you know what no I know I know right away I've just thought of it because I did try to read like the first chapter or two of Lord of the Rings so I'm rewriting it deal with it okay uh, j t what's his name <laughs> wow Tol Tolkien I call him Tolkien but I've heard it's pronounced Tolkien. Um, he, I, uh, he's just a little long in the tooth when he's describing the environment, you know? So I'm gonna rewrite it. I'm gonna bring that down a smidge. I know that's his writing style. It's not for me. So I'm gonna rewrite that and then I'm gonna reread Mating with the Mantis, which I've done. I've read it like three times. So that fits me perfectly. Round three, how, the f how we've already gotten all three of like the classics. Not all three, two of them. Pestilence. Okay, okay, sorry. I don't know. This is, I'm just, I can't talk. Let's, i just, I'll, I'll focus on this. Second book. Oh, but that's the first one, not the second. Okay. Well, we know where this stands compared to Pestilence. Akatar. So that means the first book which I thought was three and a half stars. It wasn't bad, you know? So I either need to get something really, really bad. Oh no, I need something really, really bad. Oh no, I thought, I, I thought it was the Black Cat book. Ugh, Make Games Pestilence. Okay, 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 okay. Two pestilences. What a coinky dink. So we have Pestilence. We have Akatar. That's what it was. I already fought, forgot. Short memory span. And then the Make Games Pestilence. Mm. So, I'm going to reread Pestilence over Make Games. I know that's a surprise. I know it's a surprise, especially since I kind of like this one better than the first one, but uh, Pestilence Make Games, I mean, better than the first one. But that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, oh, wait, okay. This is kind of hard. Do I just burn it or do I rewrite it? The ending kind of was crap, so, you know, could rewrite that. But I also kind of feel like Akatar. there's a lot of things that I have interest in that actually even for my own book, before I even read Akatar, there's quite a few similarities where I can tell Sarah J. Mass and I have similar thinking on of what we find interesting to have, like interesting scenarios to have in a book, I'll say. But we just do them totally different ways. So I feel like I could rewrite Akatar, if you will. Obviously, I know it won't be as successful. Calm down. Sarah J. Mass is the queen of the market. Okay, I recognize that. But it's also just not for me. So I could rewrite it. But that would mean I have to burn my game's pestilence. And I don't know if I want to burn it. Or do I just burn Akatar and piss off everybody? But a lot of people hate the first book because of Tamlin, who they call Tampon, which I still say, I don't agree uh, at all. Oh, no, Tamlin was freaking shafted. But, ooh, do I rewrite it and piss off everybody and give him a redemption arc? Fuck it. I'm going for violence. I'm going to rewrite Akatar and I'm going to burn the make games. I'm, I'm, I'm burning something that I love for myself to piss off all of you other guys. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay. What did I say I was going to reread? I can't even remember I was going to read. Oh, yeah. I'm rereading Mating with Mantis. I'm totally rewriting Akatar. And Tamlin is definitely, he doesn't have to be the main guy. Reesina can end up being the main guy. But I'm going to rewrite it so Tamlin makes sense, in my freaking opinion. And then also, I'm burning 
May, uh, the May Games best one. I'm not burning Caleb, so it all works out in the end. Anyways, round three. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Pirate by Fabio. This was like one of my first videos, which is probably very terrible. But this one, not a great book. Okay. But it's iconic. All right. Fabio, the model, wrote it. And it's very evident. Well, he used a ghostwriter, but it's his ideas. Okay. And it's very evident. So it's hilarious. It's a freaking riot to read. Oh, karma might already be coming in. We'll see what the third pick is. But May Games War. The one with Caleb. Okay. The one with Caleb. Let's see what the third book is. Please. For the love of God. Did I already have Ballad of Nightmares? Okay. I don't remember if I did it. Because short uh, memory span. I am a mouse. But um, I'm going to re-roll. If I had to choose it, this one is I'm obviously burning. Obviously burning. But I'm going to do one more because I feel like I did that. I don't remember. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So we have the Black Devil. That's that cat book with the seed bucket and the sardine. So we have the cat book. We have Pirate by Fabio. And then we have the Make Games War. So, um, you want to know what's tough with the May games, especially the first one. I preferred the second one, the Pestilence one, but Caleb is my husband. But the first one, the first time I read it, I actually really struggled with it. I was making fun of it a lot because I didn't really understand Smut at the time. And I didn't really understand the comedic nature that this had and actually how freaking good it is. But the first three books, I'm kind of just, eh, uh. the last book with Caleb's book, his backstory, especially that chapter was really good and I cried. So uh, I would rewrite the, the first three books maybe, but um, okay. Black Devil, burning. Seed pocket, that's all you need to know. You don't need to know the premise of the, of the book if you don't know what it is. Just there's seed pockets and there's cats. It's burning. Um, but as far as Fabio, Pirate by Fabio. Oh, God, that's almost blasphemous, too, trying to rewrite that because it's just so comedic and iconic and it just makes so much sense with having Fabio do it, especially now knowing that Fabio's gay. Or do I rewrite that? Nope, okay. No, commit, commit, commit. Rewriting Pirate by Fabio, even though that does hurt a little bit, and then I'll reread The Make Games War, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. Let me see what I have left and see if we can do another round. How many have we done? Three? You know what? I already talked about it though, so there's four left. Okay, this is the last. Uh, this is the last round. I don't know why I'm singing it. I'm so nervous right now. Okay. There's only four options. I brought the wheel down, so. Oh man, I completely forgot to do record my spins. Sorry guys. <laughs> How do you feel? I already know. I'm gonna burn it. Um, oh, I should have recorded and I just got rid of all that other stuff. I'm an idiot. Acomath. Probably rewrite that. Easy. Butcher and Blackbeard, reread. So, BB, re, uh, reread. Uh, Acomath, rewrite. Burn. What was I burning? How do you feel? Yeah. Akamath, you best believe that I'm going to be taking out like half that book. Sorry, guys. I, just, I am. Anywho, that was it. I hope you liked that. I don't even know what it was like. I'm the dum-dum that completely forgot to record my screen. So you guys can see all this. So that's going to be some work. But, um, yeah. I hope you guys like that. I just, I, yeah. I woke up and chose violence today. Anyways, I'm really sorry about Pride and Prejudice. I'm not sorry about Akatari and Akamath, though. So, sorry. I'm also not sorry about Lord of the Rings. I said it. Anyways, bye!